Hello again, people of the internet, and welcome to Resident Evil HD. Join with me again by my friend, Red, Co the, the Red Cooney. That's saying in the recording. <laughs> okay. Hi. Uh, we played the PlayStation 1 version already, uh, but because of audio things, we decided we would... Well, don't load the game. We decided we would do this game as well, because... I mean, we're probably going to do it anyway, but we were doing it sooner than we would have originally, because it's like... <sighs> We want to do the game justice, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not good at talking. I would recommend the middle one, because, like, the bottom one, as it turns out, is classified as very easy mode, and not easy mode. Okay. They give you very easy, easy, and then normal. And so, go for number two. Okay. Okay. Chris Redfield or Jill Valentine. Are we going with Jill again for her lockpicking and whatnot? Oh, I can also be different outfits. That's pretty cool. Yeah, although it changed the outfits of the other characters. And when I played as Chris, it changed, uh, and I selected his alternate costume, it changed a different character to have, like, a fucking cowgirl outfit, and I was stuck with it the entire game by the time I got to her, so I couldn't... <laughs> change it. Also, why does he look older? Because those are them from Resident Evil 5. So he just, he's a time traveler then, I guess. Yeah. He, well, I guess they're both time travelers. Anyway, should we go with Jill again? Yeah, I'd say that would work because lockpick and extra uh, inventory slots. Makes sense to me. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Is that it yet? No, not yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. Not Kevin! Oh my god! They've killed- Kevin! You bastard! Continued our search for the other members. Oh, look, it's totally not the bad guy, Wesker. A nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> if he's not the bad guy, then this isn't a horror game. He's wearing sunglasses at night. How can he not be the bad guy? I don't know. Seems pretty shady, but I'm. Isn't that that guy from Resident Evil? Or sorry, uh, Final Fantasy VII. No, he is much skinnier in this. That's true. And he's also dead. It's ironic that that one dude from Final Fantasy VII is a cat person, and this dude's being killed by dogs. Very unfortunate. Oh, dude, his head came clean off. That's yeah. pretty. That's pretty nasty. Well, not to them. It's not nasty. Well, I mean, yeah. Uh, is this audio have a delay or something? Because I'm pretty sure that gunshot did not happen at the time it was supposed to happen. I, I noticed it too. That was weird. Damn it, Brad! Chris, this way. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's an audio delay. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. I get. I guess the audio is scared of the game too. <laughs> Not even using a mod or anything. This is literally the game as it is on Steam. There are only three I don't even know what mod would necessitate it being delayed. Oh, sorry. I, I meant to say emulator. Oh. <laughs> that makes more sense. Yeah, <laughs> my bad. Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. <laughs> don't want to go back out there. Jill, no. But we've got to find... What was that? It was a gunshot, Barry. No. <laughs> I see the voice acting is still, uh... I'm going with her. Peak. It's better, but it... I uh, zero times zero is still zero. <laughs> yeah. You two go. Or zero times any number, for that matter, is still zero. Uh, jeez. It made the clock ticking sound in this room far less annoying and more atmospheric. Uh, I mean, I guess so. Oh, shit. Can I pick this up, please? Thank you. Yes. Okay. Can I run? Am I- is this seriously my walking speed? Yeah. Wow. There's a run button. Well, uh, that's not it. That's- okay. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Did you lick it? See if you can. No, he smelled it. Oh, okay. I'll be examining this. You know, you're not supposed to touch blood. You could have like infections. You're supposed well, to use like gloves and. <sighs> okay. Barry. Whoops. Yep, it's still blood, Jill. <laughs> it hasn't changed. The, the, how thrilling. There's a typewriter right there. Oh, there is. I guess I could save, but it's I. It's a bit early to save, don't you think? Well, much like the original, there's going to be a zombie encounter pretty soon. Right, but I mean, if so, I die... Well, if that kills you, you're not going to respawn right at the beginning with all those cutscenes. I mean, still, like, I can I can sit through a few cutscenes. It, it's not that bad. Alright. Okay, well... Uh, do I not have bullets? Hello? You do. Why am I not attacking then? What's the attack button? Oh, it's... Okay. There we... Oh my god, hold on. Vibration... Is there a way to turn off vibration? Yes. Turn that off, thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, hold on. Yeah, yeah, shush, 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 shush. I, I would like to see the zombie, though, thank you. I don't need to see it, the bullets will still hit it if you're pointing at its yeah. direction. I'm also trying to get a headshot. Oh, okay. I thought that was it dying, not me getting hit. Okay! Is it dead? Can I attack? Hold on, what's the attack? What's the attack button? The knife. What's the knife you button? You have to equip the knife. I have to equip the knife? Did yeah. I have, did I have to do that before? Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh god, it's... Yeah, oh. Oh. 
Okay. It's properly dead this time. That's not what I meant to press. Uh. Okay. That was exciting. Go back through that door. Barry. What is it? Look out! It's a monster. I already killed it. Let me take care of it. I wasn't gonna say anything before, but like, yeah, you totally just wasted a whole bunch of bullets. Damn it! <sighs> well, that sucks. Better. Fine. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm pressing the run button and I'm not going any faster. Am because I? Because you're defaulting to a run. Oh, I'm defaulting to a run? Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. What happened? It just got back up. Oh. So, yeah, now it's back from the dead. It died twice. Yeah, it needs to be killed again. Or three times, I mean. Because I Jill, killed it as well. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Okay. Well, what happens if I go outside? Just, oh. just wander around the area, and eventually you'll trigger the next cutscene. You can't go through any doors, just walk through the areas. Alright. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Did he even search at all? Because I feel like he just stood there. There's not much we can do. Well, to be fair, did you see him holding still? <laughs> I guess not. Try the door on the other side. This mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a locked door. You'd make better use of it. I am so disappointed that they don't have the iconic <laughs> better if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. <laughs> yeah. Let's go in this door. Because I'm pretty sure it's locked. I thought that was a door that we went through in the first game. Oh well. No, it was these. Oh yeah, it is this one. Weird. Yep, you gotta do that thing where you push the thing and there's a map up there. Yep. I know how to do this. Okay. So Push it. No, 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 no. You're oh, supposed to climb yeah. behind it. I have to you get behind it first, though. Yeah, okay. but you can climb over it. Yeah, but I, I have to get behind it to... Oh, okay. Yeah. I see what you're saying. <laughs> Wasn't this like a staircase in the original? Yeah. Now it's just a whoa. Yeah. Carefully. If you move it too far one way, you can't move it out of the way there's still stuff in that other room yeah I believe it that it's That's gonna probably. reset after you leave the room so there's no point in moving it back Okay. Uh, using defensive eyes as daggers will allow you to escape momentarily. <sighs> okay. Why LB? Okay. Hello? Okay. Yeah. So I have to use it now, I guess? Or you could shoot at it, but most of the time it doesn't work. 
And that's one of the times it does work. Can I point? Gonna get back is. up. When, if there's no pool of blood, then it, that means that it didn't die. Well, I'm out of uh, bullets. But you're not out of fighting spirit. LB, 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 I'm pressing LB! You from behind. It grabs you from behind, you couldn't do it. When it's on the ground, you gotta aim downwards. LB! Okay, well the music stopped, so I'm assuming that means I'm good. Yep. You can't pick the knife back up. I don't know why, but that's just how the game works. Also, why but doesn't... They'll, the let you, okay. they'll let you pick it up if you were to headshot the zombie with the knife in them, and they were still alive. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Well, anyway, what's my health like? Uh, pretty bad. Yeah, uh, one more bite and you're dead. Cool. I'm... <laughs> we're <laughs> going into this should... pretty strong. <laughs> I'd recommend saving now. Yeah. Uh... Wasn't there a typewriter in this room? They got moved to the dining room. I see. The zombie in here is alive again, though, isn't it? It went to the other room. It can open doors? In this one instance, yes. <laughs> but never in the actual gameplay. Okay. Interesting. Well, anyway... I guess we're moving on. I didn't even realize that was a thing I could take, but I took it anyway. There's blood stain on the floor. Well, anyway, now that I have the envelope, I could probably go back, right? Go back where? To the to the doors that were locked with the emblem, unless that's a different envelope. You use keys, not emblems. Oh, you are completely correct. Where'd you get the idea that you use the emblems? I don't know. I just, I remember saying the, the door said it had an emblem, and I was like, oh, well, I got an emblem. Oh, well. You didn't even examine the emblem to see what emblem it had. You are completely right. I should do that. <laughs> Well, it, it, what is this, like a shield? It's an or emblem. Uh, okay. Is the zombie here again? It's probably wandering around the other way. There's actually an item you can pick up off of the dude. Oh no, it's Kenneth. I don't know who Kenneth is, but it's Kenneth. He's a member of Bravo team. Well, not anymore, he's not. Yeah, he's just got the graveyard shift. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, green herbs. Oops. But also this. Yes. Can yeah. I, do I have to reload it? Yeah. I don't think you can manually combine them like you, in the original. I could be wrong. Try it anyways. Go to combine. And, okay, yeah, you can. The reason why I had doubts was because in Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remake, you can't do that. That's weird. Well, anyway. Green herbs. Can I combine these, like, in the first game? Yes. But it's a lot more efficient to, uh, like, combine them with a red herb than combining the greens together. Well, yeah, but I'm pretty low on health right now, so... Yeah. Alright. There we go. Oh, I should probably uh, switch back to the gun. Uh, nothing here, I guess, so I guess I'll just go up the stairs. Okay, I didn't mean to click on the birdcage, but thank you. No more <laughs> cutscenes for going upstairs. Yep. Until you play Resident Evil 2 and then back to uh, that. 
Right. But I mean, that... I... Did... I could have sworn there was a way to just, like, attack using the knife without having to equip the knife. Am, am I just crazy? Yes. Uh, oh, hello. It wasn't a feature until, like, Resident Evil 4. Well, I think it was a different game then. What other game would I have played, though? This is my first play time playing Resident Evil games. Okay, well, they're dead. Yeah, he just wasted a bullet there. It was already dead. Oops, how was I supposed to know? Wait for the blood to spill out. Yeah, but what if it got back up? Then the blood wouldn't have pulled out. Well, well maybe... there's more there. Looks like I don't have to worry about it, then. Combine. You can also... You can, oh, it just did that already. The oh. fuck? Just selected combine, and then it knew exactly what you were combining it with. Did it? I guess I didn't you notice. Oh, I unlocked it. Okay. How did I unlock it? Uh... It was locked on the other know. side. How, how, how do you unlock the deadbolt on your house? <laughs> okay, okay. So I guess it wasn't a key. It was just I was on the correct side. Oh, there's a shadow. Yeah. yeah. And it's not the hedgehog. Oh, it's on the complete other side. What the fuck? Okay, well, I guess I don't really have to worry about it right now, then. Oh, another dagger. Ready to shove through the heads of zombies. So this game is like item resource management, so I should probably not kill everything I see. Unless I have Yeah. It, and, and in this game, if you kill a zombie after a certain amount of time, unless you, like, gave them a headshot, they'll actually reanimate into a stronger zombie. Oh. Well, that's... And faster. Damn. Stronger and faster. Why? Why would they do this? Because it's scary. I mean, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I'm just back in the hallway. He not. Headshots and burning uh, get rid of the zombies before they can reanimate. Well, I was pretty good at headshots when I played the first game, so maybe uh, maybe uh, that skill will transfer over. over. Uh, you just were getting lucky with critical hits because they were random chance base, depending on pointing at him. This guy is stuck. Perfect, you could shoot him. Can I headshot him? Or is he... I need to get probably closer, huh? Ain't... Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, well now he's not stuck anymore. Okay, you know what? Fuck you. If you can get a headshot off. Oh, um, what? I didn't kill him? No. I thought that was. You only killed it that time because you shot and knifed him first. And so that's what killed him. Oh, really? Just... Really? Really? Did I die? No. Okay. No. So, got I don't recommend sticking around. Well, I gotta do the statue thing. And I want my knife back. Roar it around. It's a big loop on this. Okay, bye. Bye, have a great time. Oh, I got an achievement. <laughs> Thanks, game. I, I appreciate that.